The FlatScan SW is a sensor with laser technology designed for the safety of swing doors. The product is shipped as one module separately or a kit of two modules. You will find all the necessary elements for the installation of the FlatScan SW in the box. Take a FlatScan SW module and slide the base off it. Take the base and put it on the door frame. When mounting the base, make sure the sensor will not hinder the door movement. If the sensor isn't correctly positioned, it could be crushed during the opening of the door. The positioning aids help you to align the base correctly. Using a pencil, mark the position of the holes to drill into the door frame. Should you not be able to drill the holes as indicated on the base, you can use the inner surface of the base to fasten the screws. Remove the base and pre-drill the holes where marked. Using a wire cutter, remove the positioning aids from the base. Fasten the three screws using a PosiDrive screwdriver. Repeat the process on each door wing. Drill through the two bases and the door using a 10mm bit in order to pass the master slave cable. Soften the edges using a sheet of sandpaper. Take the master slave cable and put it through the hole. Position the cable in the notch of the base and make sure it is firmly fixed. Take the sensor and remove the cover. Put your finger in the hole and pull firmly towards you in one go. The sensor's cover will come loose. On the door, pass the cable through the hole on the back of the sensor and connect it to the black connector. Make sure that all wires are safely tucked within the notch to avoid crushing them with the cover. Close the sensor which will not be connected to the door controller using a plug. Fasten the lock screw firmly in order to avoid vibrations during the door movement. Take the flexible tube and determine how long it should be in order to reach the door controller. Cut the surplus to avoid undesired detections caused by the flexible tube. Pass the power cable through the flexible tube. Connect the white plug to the white connector. The sensor that is connected directly to the door controller is the master module. Make a loop with the wires of the power cable and pass them through the notch as indicated. Use the other part of the cable to block the wires. Take the clamp to fix the flexible tube to the sensor. Fasten the two screws firmly in order to avoid pulling out the cable. Tighten the other side of the flexible tube using the cable cap and pass through the rest of the power cable towards the door controller. Cut the power cable to the right length. Strip the eight wires and connect them according to the wiring diagram in the user's guide. Connect green and brown to the power supply of the door controller. Polarity is important. Connect the green wire to the positive pole and the brown wire to the negative pole. Connect yellow and white to the stop command of the door. Connect pink and grey to the reopen command of the door. Connect red and blue to the test terminal of the door controller. Make sure the setting of dip switch 1 is correct on all modules according to the door side. Switch the first dip of the inner modules to off in order to ensure the reopen function. Make sure the first dip of the outer modules is set to on in order to ensure the stop function of the door. 
If it is not set to on, change the position. After changing the position of the dip switch, the LED flashes orange until confirming the adjustment by pressing the push button for more than 3 seconds. Before launching a teach-in, activate the service mode on the master module. Be aware that during the service mode, the safety of the door is deactivated. The service mode can be activated by pressing the push button for more than 3 seconds. It enables the door to close in order to launch a teach-in. The sensor is in service mode when the LED is off. Make sure the field is cleared before launching the teach-in. To launch a teach-in, press the push button of the master module briefly. When installing a flat scan SW on a double swing door, repeat this on the second master module. The LED starts to flash red-green quickly. Wait until both sensors flash green. Position yourself in front of the door and stretch out your arm in front of you. Make an up and down movement at closing edge level in order to mark the limit of the detection zones. The LED flashes red while calculating the width of the door wings. When the sensor flashes green again, activate a door opening so the sensor can learn its environment. Make sure you are outside of the detection field. During the closing of the door, the sensor flashes red. Once the door is completely closed again and the LED is off, the teach-in is completed. Check the correct positioning of the safety fields by placing an object in the detection field. If necessary, adjust the tilt angle of the sensor by turning the angle adjustment screw. By turning the screw clockwise, you move the curtain closer to the door. By turning it counterclockwise, you move the curtain away from the door. You can adjust the angle from 2 degrees to 10 degrees maximum. After changing the angle, always launch a new teach-in and test the correct positioning of the detection fields. Place the cover on the sensor. Repeat this on the other modules. To open the sensor again, put a screwdriver in the notch at the bottom of the sensor and pull upwards. The installation of your FlatScan SW is now completed. Before installing the FlatScan SW yourself, we recommend reading the user's guide containing all the necessary explanations for a successful installation of the product. The user's guide also describes a series of additional adjustments by remote control and information about troubleshooting. Always keep the user's guide for future use and reference. We thank you for watching our tutorial and hope it will be of use to you. Do not hesitate to visit our website if you need any further information.